Hello guys, Silverplate22 here, bringing you a brand new series called Silver Star of the Future. This is where we look at a player who is maybe in the news at the minute or has a, had a really good season, a really good up and coming player, and we test them out and we see how they play on this FIFA and we kind of decide whether they're going to be a good player in the future and yeah, kind of maybe have a guess at their rating for the next FIFA 14. Yeah, so today we're going to be looking at Van Ginkel. Now, this guy is one of my favourite players on the whole game. He's in the news a lot at the minute because he's had such an amazing season and also he's been strongly linked with Chelsea and now Man United. He's got some pretty well-rounded card stats. He's got four-star weak foot, three-star skills. He, I mean, you can see there he got 10 goals for me in four games. So, I mean, that kind of gives you an indication as to whether I'm going to like him or not. He's his physical attributes, I mean all of his attributes in general, are kind of all around 70s. Like, he, he doesn't have a single green stat, other than obviously the stamina, but that is influenced fully by, you know, other things. But he doesn't have a single green stat on his, on his, phys on his attributes in general. He also has high defensive work rate, medium attacking. So you might be wondering why I played him at Cam. Well, I mean, you're going to see in these clips why I played him at Cam. He is an absolute beast this is probably one of the favorite my favorite players i've ever used on this game he is six foot one but he does not feel like a, a tall player at all he is he dances around players for fun i think the i, I really enjoy the era division in general so i think that kind of uh gives him a little bit of I, I i was desperate to use this guy and when i heard he was coming probably coming to the premiership i thought you know what i've got to start some sort of series and get him as the first guy his shooting is amazing his passing his range is incredible to think that this guy has no green stats those those stats are so fake you i can't believe that he doesn't have like sort of you know, at least some 90s and things. Like, I, I would imagine his passing should really be more in the low to mid 80s. His, his long shots are incredible. Now, what I noticed about them that was quite weird was they weren't very powerful particularly. He didn't smash them in or anything. He just kind of he just kind of struck them into the corners more than anything. Or kind of struck them at the keepers and the keepers just wouldn't save them. Which is kind of weird but it did happen over and over again. So it wasn't really luck I don't think. His free kicks and penalties were excellent. His curve. It's just everything about this player was like a perfect like centre mid. But I enjoyed playing him at Cam because I just enjoyed him getting up the pitch a little bit more. His attacking sort of strengths were outweighed his defensive strengths for me but he would make a perfect centre mid anyway I've said that I think he'll probably be around 78 on the next FIFA especially if he goes to the Prem they usually get a huge jump off if he's at Chelsea or Man United what do you think this guy will be rated as uh, and who do you want to see next thanks guys